Hey guys, this is Amandeep from Amand Graphics. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, um, but I'm in right now as well. I shouldn't have made a video, but because it's been a long time and I had a video idea, so I thought that I might as well just make a video. So um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, increase Windows 10's performance. Now, if you're like me and you're upgraded, you've upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 because Windows 7 um, has stopped receiving updates so the whole operating system is discontinued by uh, Microsoft. Um, now for me Windows 10 works perfectly. I haven't had any issues. Obviously when I was installing Windows 10 then I had a few issues but um, other than that I've never had one. But in case you have a very low end PC like imagine you have like 3 or 4 GB RAM and maybe it isn't working as well as you um, wanted it to then maybe this video could help you out so first of all each time you like every month or so you download a few programs you are going on to your browser and everything and searching you might have a lot of junk files now how do you clear them you go into your search bar you type a uh, disk cleanup and the first one is here disk cleanup you click on this and then it will uh, ask you to select which drive you want to clean up and I'm going to choose my C drive because this is where um, I store my programs the operating system is on here and everything is on the C drive where um, the OS is installed in the data drive I don't really use that that's just a backup drive that I never really use so I'm going to click OK and then it will show me all the junk files so downloaded program files uh, Windows error reports and feedbacks, uh, DirectX shader cache, cache and junk files and everything because you don't really want to keep all these um, things because they're useless and just again junk files. Then you can delete files. Now in case you have something in the recycle bin that you don't want to be deleted before doing this just save that somewhere because this will also clear the recycle bin and the downloads folder. So now once you've done that, you may notice a slight increase in performance, but if you don't, this next step may help you. So hold shift and five, percentage, temp, and then percentage. I've always talked about this in my previous Windows 7 videos, but this is still a file here. So as you can see, because I use Photoshop and everything, these are some junk files from created by Photoshop, aren't really junk. They're just temporary files created by using the software. Um, but I would call them junk because they're unnecessary. I only have four files because I do this regularly, like weekly. But if you haven't done this ever, you probably have a thousand files or maybe even uh, 10,000. I know someone who had so many files on their temp uh, folder because they had never ever done this. And it was like 2 GB worth. So always regularly do that. Um, that should help you. And then um, another thing you can do is depending on the drive you've installed OS, like for me it's local disk C, my uh, C drive, uh, right click on it, click on properties and then tools. Uh, we already use the disk cleanup so forget about this. Um, go on to tools and go on to uh, dis uh, defragment and then choose the drive you want to defragment. What defragmenting does is that it sorts all the files in a specific order to ensure the computer to run correctly. You might have like files um, here and there and it will just put them together and free up memory. Yeah, And if you have maybe a virus which is causing Windows to slow down, you might want to um, choose your third party antivirus software and scan with that, for example McAfee or Avast or something. Or you could just uh, use Windows Defender which is a pre-installed security antivirus software by Microsoft. It isn't the best, but it has improved since its previous versions. Like in Windows 7, Windows uh, Defender wasn't that good in Windows 7 at all. It never detected anything, but this uh, detects quite a lot. Um, it gives you virus and threat protection, account protection and everything. You can also scan files individually with Windows Defender. For example, it gives you an option, scan with Windows Defender. So Windows security has improved a lot and you can scan with it. So if I click on this and then you can just quick scan it 
and then it will find uh, it will scan your device quickly and if you want to do like an advanced scan then go on to scan option and you can choose a uh, full scan and that would like check every file and scan every file individually which could take a long time depending on uh, how much space you've used up on your C drive. If you've just corrupted something on Windows, then just go on to System Restore. Or you might have like done something like install something uh, which you don't want but you can't seem to get rid of it. Then you go on to uh, create a restore point. With this you create a restore point and then you can go on to backup. First make sure that you are, have already so when you feel like your PC is at its best state create a restore point from there and then go on to your backup settings and then it will show you your backup. Now I haven't made any backup so it won't show me as you can see uh, restore files from a current backup and I don't have any current backup so I have no file history but it, it should show up here for me it's showing windows 7 because i upgraded from windows 7 i don't think i even have any backup on windows 7 i should have made one but i don't think i did one uh yeah but backup can help you as well and if you just see that you've completely corrupted windows then the best thing to do is you go onto your bios boot options when the computer starts up so keep uh constantly press f12 and then you can like format your drive and then after that install windows 10 what you mm, if i go on to my browser and then i search a uh, media creation tool download windows 10 you can go on to this microsoft website and then install windows 10 install it onto a usb you can just follow the um assistant it will assist you on how to do everything so the setup is very detailed so you can it will tell you how to um, save it onto your drive and then once you save it on a usb you should have like at least 10 or 12 gb on your drive then just insert the usb in go on to the bios the boot options on your computer when you start up so if you constantly press f12 and then boot your computer on the usb and then windows 10 will be installed again and then what, now that you've formatted your drive and everything, everything should be like reset. Um, if you don't want to go through all that hassle, then you can um, also choose reset from Windows. So if you go on system settings and reset this PC, then this will guide you right here, recovery. So these are all the things you can do to ensure that your PC is running correctly. One final tip is that if you have many if you've browsed a lot on your computer and you've downloaded and uploaded a lot then if you go onto your chromium browser i have chromium browser uh, edge is now a chromium browser that's why um if i go into settings you'll see the same as google chrome and brave and any other chromium browser but you just go into your history like uh can't find history here but i'll just go control h but if you go into your history and then you click clear browsing data and then just uh, tick everything, everything and then change this to all time if you're on Chrome or something. Most people would be on Chrome. Chromium browsers. Chromium browsers are very popular. And then just clear all the browsing data and then everything should be running correctly. So I hope I helped you out. Uh, 